So let's put some finish on this. Paper towels. Now, one of the things that you want to do, one of the things that you want to do is uh, not stick your finger in your eye when you are uh, you know, doing your thing here. Um, this fin this is a wax. This is a type of wax. This is this this can right here. This is how many? 65 milliliters or whatever. But um, it's not much. But this stuff is like thirty dollars. All right. This stuff goes a long way. So you don't have to use a lot. This is my second can, and the only reason it's my second can is because I thought you put a lot on there. And then I got to realizing after I paid for it and looked at my receipts, I was like, man, I was stupid. You know. Um, one of the first things that you want to do is you just want to look at your piece. If you have a blower with you, you know, like an air compressor, you want to blow this off. But since I don't, we'll use my dusty hand and get it off. Now, when you're applying this wax and stuff, you do not, for any reason, want to get it inside here. Because the CA glue, which is what's going to bond that glass to inside here. Um, so... If you put that wax on it, that CA glue is not going to sit right. The next thing you know, you're going to be entertaining, and all of a sudden, boop, you lose your glass. And then people are just not going to think too highly of you. So. Where do you get the CA glue from? Woodcraft, that same place I was telling you about. Now, there are other places. Um, I, I like Woodcraft just for the fact that it's local. So if I get like a random order that I just, for some reason, I don't have a, a piece of acrylic, instead of waiting five to seven days, you know, I'll just run down there real quick and grab it. But the majority of the time, I buy my stuff online. And the only reason is because they have better discounts. Um, like with the uh, bottle stoppers, uh, with these, and a lot of the end parts and stuff like that, um, it's a bottle opener. Uh, whether it be Coke or beer or whatever it is that you drink, this is what it does. Um, and I also do the whole combination question. I'm going to start by doing one of these tonight. These take a little longer than those. That's a combo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have opened that over. Do you sign all your pieces? Uh, it's kind of hard to sign those, but yeah, everything that's flat or um, anything is like this, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll sign it. This one I didn't sign it. Yeah, like my initials pull. Yeah, I'll burn my initials in it, in the bottom of it. And then they didn't have it out. But if it's something that you know, if someone was to to request for me not to sign it, unfortunately I want to make them pay extra because I don't need them. Matter of fact, there's a guy right now who is doing, uh, he's from Russia. It's so funny because um, I was doing the whole uh, YouTube thing. This guy is actually saying that this is his piece. And he's also doing it with the hibiscus bowl. And I want to see the, I want to say this one. Now this just has Chinese writing on it. Each one of these symbols means um, some is love, prosperity, benevolence, uh, virtue, and other things. But if you notice right here where it's hard to not fill out, I went ahead and did the stone inlays on it. So it just adds a little, you know, mm -hmm. that's that's maple. It's got uh, it's got figured maple in it and uh, bird's eye maple. So how can you save this? Puts it on his website, and uh, I've tried to, I've tried to be able to, you know, get a hold of him and everything like that, but I haven't been able to get any responses. And every time I try to find out where his little thing is located, I get pushed around to several different places. So it's like he doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of irritating, but it's funny at the same time. You know, but honestly though, even though that guy, that drunk guy, was trying to steal my pen, I was still excited about it. <laughs> Seriously, I know he was. I know he was. I know where his money was. It was in his belly. But the fact that he still wanted my piece, even though he was drunk, that's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm getting all kind of clientele. You know what I mean? So that helps me sell. So I just, I don't, I don't do well with because I don't drink. I don't believe in it. So, you know, I just, I, I don't, I don't do well with drunks. You know, I'm dumb enough. I don't need to inebriate myself to get stupid. You know, I'm already there. Yes, sir. Why wouldn't you like, use the power of the lathe to sit on the wax? Certain waxes you can. 
Okay. Now, what I am doing, all I'm doing is making sure that it gets um, into each each pore of the grain and everything like that. Um, a lot of the times when you sand, it is there, there is a rule of thumb that you do not sand fast. Like cedar, aromatic cedar, this egg right here. This egg is aromatic cedar. This is heartwood. This is sapwood. In other words, this is the center of the tree. This is where the bark would be. Um, this, the, the log that I started out with was not much bigger than this egg, and the bark was actually still there. Matter of fact, there's bark on this. I have no idea what kind of wood that is. I'm thinking it might be sweet gum, and that's what my dad is thinking that it, that it is. Um, so, if I was if I was using cedar, if I was doing cedar right now, I'd want to I'd want to sand it lower thin. And the reason being is because you get cedar hot enough. This is like a small grenade or a piece of dynamite. The wood is so brittle on the inside that when it heats up, it expands at such a rapid rate that it just goes sort of boom. So, uh, yeah. So when you when you sand it, that's the reason why that's the reason why when you cook with it, yeah, you can cook with it, but you're cooking on a plank. This is there's nothing. It's, it's a plank is more stable than a cylinder. You know what I mean? It's just it's just a lot more stable. And I've had one of these explode on me, so that's the only reason why I know. I've heard it, you know, I've heard it for a long time, and I would never tell people that they would explode, but I've had one explode on me, so that's the reason why I'm saying it. Now, when I go to buff this, I will turn it on my high, but you got to be careful because certain woods, depending on the density of the wood, um, you're obviously going to use a different part of the rag, but um, the more dense it is, for some odd reason, it heats up a heck of a lot faster, just, I mean, and and it'll actually melt this and then you gotta resand because it just ruins your finish. Especially with um, uh, acrylics. I sand all the way up to 12,000 grit with, with water, okay? I start out, depending on the shape and everything like that, um, I'll start out with maybe, I don't know, probably about 220. Um, now, the first, the first coat isn't going to get shiny. It's just because it's getting into the wood and everything like that. So in order for me to get this shiny, I'd have to keep applying. I'd have to let this dry and then apply more and then just build layers. That's the reason why I like using floor finish because, man, it's good. It's shiny. So yeah. it just gives it a wet look. It makes the grain pop. You see the grain a lot more mm -hmm. than... So you can imagine if I had a bunch of circular scratches on this, you would see because... <coughs> Any dust or anything like that is going to embed itself in that in that in that crevice. Uh, I, I've messed with uh, deer antler and buffalo water buffalo yeah. horn. Yes, sir. Um, oh, great success! They actually have a new product out that comes in a in a like that red that red square that you guys asked me what, what kind of wood it was. Um, guess what it's actually made of? And it's like $30 for a piece that big. It's volcano ash. They take volcano ash and they make it into like this like slurry and they, I don't know, do something to electrify it or something and it sticks and it holds and it is the purest black I've ever seen. It is amazing. Uh, yes, sir. Well, I mean, I, I've tried True Stones. Um, it's it's a, a, a product. I guess it's a stone. I mean, they say it's a stone. Um, I, but mainly I use, like, crushed stone and stuff like that. And Denise turned me on to these little glass, like, out of beads? Frit. Yeah, frit. <laughs> I don't know. See, I suck at the lingos. But it's, it's basically just a bunch of glass that's been crushed. And this beautiful glass. I mean, there's pinks, purples, greens, yellows, blues. I mean, just all different types. And I have the, you know, like I showed you on the inlace, I have clear epoxy. And I can take that glass and stick it inside there, mix it all up. So when I mix it up and I put it in there, when that light hits it, it's phenomenal. You know, um, there's actual people. Um, I can go outside right now and get one of those rocks, crush it up, stick it in some glue, and and put it in here and then polish it up. So if someone was to bring me like a gold nugget, not that they really should do that, but if they, but if they did it, I could crush it up, 
put it in the epoxy, and then boom, and you actually have gold inlays. Um, so I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot that you can do with this stuff. And honestly, if, if your imagination is limited, you're going to be limited. Um, I never thought that a nine, a nine dollar can of spray paint would ever bring me two hundred dollars, but it does. You know, so I mean. I never thought that a piece of wood that you know I could take out of your fireplace and turn it into a 70 or 80 or 100, 200, 300 dollar piece. I mean, you just you don't you don't think out that far outside the box. But there there is there is a lot that you can do with this stuff. So if you have a good imagination, hoping it was going to come out more graceful so I looked like I knew what I was doing right I was like a monkey you know it's crazy um, whenever you're using CA glue CA glue is like the fastest glue in the world I mean it's it's nasty um, so if you don't set it right like quickly you're gonna be chipping it out and you're gonna you know Denise is gonna have to make me another piece but uh, you want to make sure all your dust is off. I don't learn. But um, so you want to make sure all your dust and everything like that. Now, on the inside of this, I actually concaved it. That way, all the glue would settle towards the middle, and it would still get on the rim. So it was, it's creating a, a stronger foundation for this. Um, if whoever gets this has any problems with it, let me know. Because I, I, I like to guarantee my stuff. Um, so if you have any problems, because theoretically, I haven't had a problem with this stuff, but they actually make a special glass bonding glue or some junk like that. And what it does is it actually expands and contracts with, with the wood. So obviously, um, if you're putting this in the fridge, you know, your stuff's going to shrink. You put it near a fire, it's going to expand. So it keeps this from popping off and everything else like that. Um, but if you drop it or chew on it, you know, obviously I'm not guaranteeing it, you know. Or use it as a baseball bat. But, uh, and this stuff spreads pretty quick, so you don't put a lot in there. I'll show you how quick this sets up. This is accelerated. It's even faster. <laughs> Look at that. See? I still do that because there was one time that I had some defe defective glue. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't pretty. <laughs> Thank God there was no one watching. I wasn't doing a video. I would have edited that, you know. I would have felt like a schmuck. Um, my dad knows. I'm going to put you on the spot here, Pop. But, um... My dad knows I was I was doing a bunch of pins. I had a I had like an order for 20 pins, and I was doing a bunch. So basically, what I'll do is I'll do all my drilling, setting the um, setting stuff with this, and I was just going real fast, right? Well, Pop, he's out doing his own thing, and I'm over here and I'm setting them down, right? But I have them raised to where if the glue drips, it's not going to glue it to the to the thing. Well, Pop comes in there and he's like, "So, son, how's it going?" And I was like, oh, you know, it's going all right. And he's sitting there talking the whole time, and I'm not thinking because I'm I'm working. I'm not thinking I'm not thinking that he just stuck his hand in some glue. And he's sitting there, he's like, blah 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 blah. And I'm like, oh okay. He's like, hey, well, let me get back at it. And just and it was funny because his flesh was right there. I mean, he wasn't bleeding. It just took off like the first layer. I know. I, see, this is why people don't have me do demos, because I'm creepy. I'm, I'm disgusting, you know? So, but it was funny. Um, and this is also something that you don't, you don't, uh, you don't smoke around.